Good morning, everyone. So we are still up here. Uh, we actually just got ready for the day and um, we're gonna be going downstairs right now. Um, I got the kids ready and then brushed our teeth and stuff. And yeah, we're gonna be going downstairs and I just thought to go ahead and vlog for you guys today. Um, since, you know, I do wanna get into a routine of vlogging and uploading videos and stuff just so I can get used to it. Um, because it does feel a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, baby. Oh, okay, let me fix it for you. Just watch videos, okay? Hold hey, on. I'm there you go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my kids are right here. And guess what, you guys? Dominic got his hair cut yesterday, and oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe that's the same Dominic. He looks a little bit different, um, you know, but he's just so handsome. My baby, he's such a big boy now. Um, and with this haircut, he looks like a big boy, but just so handsome. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys how he looks now. Um, if you want to watch the before, just click on the last video um, and you will see how his hair looked. He definitely needed a haircut. Um, and yeah, he just looks so cute and he did so good you guys He didn't cry this time because for the past basically like two years He did not want his Nino um, He's a barber to cut his hair and so my husband was just cutting it here at home and you know my husband is not a barber so um, you know he tried his best cutting his hair but obviously it wasn't the same you know as getting it cut by a barber so yeah he just looks so cute um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my babies so here is Andres say hi baby he's watching Daddy, Mickey Mouse you get me. <laughs> Say hi, my Daddy, love. Daddy. Say good morning, everyone. He is so into the TV right now, but he's right here just chilling with his little mohawk. And then here is Dominic. You are so handsome, boy. Turn around. Oh, who's that? And so because he did so good yesterday with his haircut, um, we took him to Target to go get a new dinosaur, and he got this one right here. What's his name, baby? And Domino's Rex. Yeah. yeah, so he wanted this one. Um, he has the same one, but just the bigger one, and it's over here, actually. He has all of them, well, the two big ones over here. So this is in Dominic's, but this one um, can actually eat, I guess, dinosaurs. You put like the little dinosaurs or whatever in here, and then they come out through like the bottom part. Um, but yeah, this one's pretty cool. I like this one. And this is Bronchiosaurus. And yeah, now he got a new one since he did so good yesterday. You look so handsome, baby. Which which dino now? I want to buy it then because I don't have any to buy. You don't? No. You have a lot of them already downstairs, huh? But yeah, guys, we are just up here. We're about to go downstairs. But yeah, look at my baby. He looks so handsome. Dominic, look at me. Dominic. Yeah, you look so handsome. Who cut your hair? Tio Beto. Your Tio Beto? Yeah. Your Nino Beto, huh? You didn't cry? Yeah, because you're a big boy now, huh? But yeah, he's so cute. So, so cute. And then this guy is just chilling over here watching his Mickey Mouse. But yeah, guys, that is my son. He looks so freaking cute. Um, and I'm just so glad that finally he was okay with, you know, his Nino cutting his hair. And from now on, he should be able to, you know, cut his hair without him crying and all of that. So I'm just happy, you know, that he just finally let him do it so we're gonna go downstairs right now i'll go ahead and just vlog throughout the day for you guys so i hope you guys do enjoy this video and 
if you're new please don't forget to subscribe if you're watching and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you guys are new here just so i know you guys and if you guys are returning subscribers welcome back to another video i hope you guys did enjoy it thank you guys so much for watching and always returning to watch another of my videos and yeah we'll see you guys right now in a bit say bye bye say, see you right now let me see, baby, which one's the dino that you want now. This one? Yeah. Where, where is he at? What at, store? At Target. At Target? Yeah. Okay, if you're a good boy, maybe you'll get it, okay? <laughs> and here is Andres. He's eating his toy. <laughs> huh, baby? How my love. All right, you guys. So we are going to be heading downstairs. Say bye. Say bye, babies. My son Dominic's already downstairs. But yeah, we're going to be going. And this is our... Oh, oh bless you, baby. Bless you, my love. Bless you, baby. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys our outfits of the day. I'm wearing my leggings as always. And yeah, we are comfy, ready to go downstairs. Hey, we'll see you guys right now. All right guys, so we made it downstairs and just wanted to warn you guys, my house is a little messy because my son has toys all over the place. So just wanted to give you guys a little warning before I showed you guys everything. But here is my son, Dominic. And this is my living room right now situation, you guys. He has his mess right here. All his toys right here. And yeah, all his dinos, huh, baby? Yeah. All your dinos? Come play over here, please. Come play on the mat. And then Andres is right over here. Watching Mickey Mouse. Huh, boy? Jumping? Why did you throw your toy? Why did you throw it down? <laughs> he loves to jump, too, on the jumper. Which, this actually was Dominic's jumper, so um, I'm just so glad we kept it because he loves to jump on it, too. Um, but, yeah, you guys, this is my house again i'm sure you guys saw the kitchen reveal in the last video um but yeah this is my kitchen and i just love it so much it just brightens up my house so much you guys i love it um but yeah i'm just gonna give them breakfast well dominic doesn't really eat like a whole lot right now he's probably just gonna want some cereal and some milk um so that's what i'm gonna give him right now and it's so weird because he wants it separate like the milk and then the cereal he eats them separately but i mean as long as he's eating it right um that's fine i don't really care how he eats it if it's together or separate but yeah he wants some what do you want what kind what is it called corn pops okay baby i'm gonna get you some okay you're gonna want milk yeah. Okay. I'm going to get you some, okay? Give me love. Give me all your love. Oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way. Don't know what you do. You hold my hand, look me in the eyes You and me, yeah that's all I need And I'll be alright I'll be right here I swear that I'll Alright guys, so I served my son his cereal um, So I gave him some corn pops um, And his milk and this cup is so cute you guys <clears throat> look at this little cute cup it has the little dinosaurs on it 
It's so cute. We got it from Johnny Carino's um, when we went to have dinner there. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and give it to him so he can eat it. Um, so his cereal and his milk. I know it's so weird, but he doesn't want to eat it together. Um, let me know down below if any of your kids are like that. Is it good, baby? Yeah? You like your milk? Don't spill it, okay, baby? <laughs> you just need your shoes, but since you're going to be playing, I'm just not going to put any shoes on you right now, okay, baby? Say thank you, Mommy. I love you. Thank you for your shark and your Indominus. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> but I think Andres is getting a little tired. So let's see if he wants to go to sleep right now. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do right now is just make an egg for my son. He's actually still right here playing with his dinosaurs and all of that. So I'm just going to make him some eggs um, so he can eat. Are you going to want ketchup for your eggs? Yeah? Ketchup? Are you still playing? Yeah, your brother's taking a nap, huh, baby? Where's, um, Indominus? You got two now, huh? Where is Mosasaurus? Yeah, good job, baby. Alright, I'm going to make your egg, okay, so you can eat. Him, um, and then my dad is actually um, watching a movie. <laughs> he just woke up and I just finished making the eggs so yeah he's gonna go in the jumper for a little bit and I'm gonna give Dominic his breakfast here it is I made some eggs and then he did have some chicken and beans and a little bit of rice from yesterday uh, from Chipotle so that's what he's gonna be eating you ready to eat I love you. I love you. And he still brings his dinos over here to, over here to the dining table, you guys. But let me go ahead and put this little guy down and give Dominic his food, you guys. I'll see hey! Bebe! You little baby! Are you watching Mickey Mouse, my love? Yes, you're watching Mickey Mouse. <laughs> but look at this guy he has his nuts all over here in the corner now and yeah you have a mess huh yeah and Andres is just chilling right here yeah this is your house and this is Andres's house too it's both of your guys' house but yeah, I love this little mat, you guys, because, you know, he can lay here and then I can put him on his, like, tummy and, um, you know, he can practice crawling since he hasn't crawled yet. So, yeah, I do love it. If you guys actually are interested in it, um, let me know. I can go ahead and put the link down in the description box below um, for it. And yeah, give him a besito. Oh, what a sweet brother. 
All right, guys, so I'm going to just um, decide what I want to make for lunch or I guess dinner because it's still pretty early right now. I'm thinking of making tinga. If you guys are Mexican, you guys probably know what that is. Um, it's a really easy to make and super delicious dish um, that we eat with tostadas. Um, so I think I'm going to do that for today. So what I'm going to start by doing is just defrosting the chicken first. I do need to take it out from the freezer and then just have it defrost for a little bit um, before I start you know making everything else so I will show you guys how I make it just in case you guys are interested in making it hopefully I can finish it because my son is taking a quick nap so I hope he does let me you know finish it if not he's gonna have to be in the jumper or down playing with um, Dominic and yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoy this recipe if you do enjoy it please let me know in the comment section below and if you try it out let me know also tag me on instagram if you guys are not following me on instagram i will leave it right here so you guys can go ahead and start following me on instagram i do post a lot more on there on my stories and on my posts just because it's a lot easier for me and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this quick recipe and just give it a try you guys will love it all right guys so let's go ahead and start by taking out the chicken i believe do i have it here no i think it's right here so this is the type of chicken that i am going to be using um it's just chicken breast so um you can use any you know any kind that you would like um, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna be using for the tinga. All right guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna do here is just open up my bag here and add hot water onto it just so it can go ahead and defrost. Um, and it usually takes about 30 to 40 minutes for it to go ahead and fully defrost. Um, if not even longer, just depends on, you know, what chicken you get and all of that. Um, so yeah, I just decided to go ahead and do a voiceover for this. Um, that way it's just easier for you guys to go ahead and, you know, know what exactly what I'm doing and just go step by step. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is just cut a piece of onion. Now that my chicken is defrosted, I'm going to go ahead and just cut. It's about less than half of an onion. You can add just a half of an onion also if you would like or just whatever amount you prefer. Um, but this is the um, amount that I'm going to be adding to my pot where I actually am going to be cooking my chicken. Um, I actually already had added the water um, as you guys can see here. Now I'm going to go ahead and just put it on the stove, turn it on and add some salt. So once you have your chicken boiling for a few minutes, just make sure you go and remove all of these white bubbles that just accumulate on top of the pot. And as you guys can see here, I am just showing you how the chicken is looking. It still needs some time. So here I have all of the ingredients for the salsa that I'm going to be making. So I have some consomme. I have four tomatoes, a garlic clove, black pepper, and a whole chipotle can sauce. So I'm gonna first be adding the tomatoes to this pot right here to go ahead and boil. And you're just gonna go ahead and, you know, make sure you wash everything um, that you're gonna be using all of your ingredients. I had already done that, so now I just added the water and just go ahead and place this um, to go ahead and boil. So while my chicken and my tomatoes are boiling, I have here some cabbage, one onion, oregano, and black pepper. And so what I'm gonna just be doing here is just chopping up some cabbage and then also cutting the onion to go ahead and fry. So here I'm just showing you how my tomatoes are looking and they're pretty much done. I just left them for a few more minutes and here is my chicken which is pretty much done and right here I just went ahead and removed the cabbage and placed it on this tray that way I can go ahead and just wash it really good before frying it. I'm 
más lunáticos. <risa> So now that my tomatoes are done boiling, I'm going to be adding them to my blender and adding everything else, which is the garlic clove, the black peppers, the consomme, and also the chipotle sauce, which I actually added the whole can into the blender um, just because I like it very spicy. So everything is up to liking. Of course, you can add some more later on. So for the consomme, I added like a spoonful of it into the blender and what I'm also going to be adding is some water. Um, I didn't add just the water, you know, from my sink. I added actually the, the leftover water that I had from when I boiled my chicken. So you can go ahead and add that and then just mix it all together. So the next thing you have to do is just put some oil into a pan to go ahead and fry the cabbage and then the onion. So I started by adding first the cabbage just because it does take a little bit longer for this to fry than the onion does. And then I also added some black pepper to the cabbage. So once the cabbage was pretty much almost ready and done, I added the onion just so I don't burn the cabbage and make sure you are just, you know, moving this around. You don't want it to burn. So once that all is ready, you just add it into the chicken, into the pot that you're going to be adding also the salsa and then you're going to be mixing it all together and leaving it to boil for about 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, it will be done. So as you guys can see here, I added the cabbage, the onion, and the salsa, and I also added some of that leftover water from when I boiled the chicken. Um, I ended up adding a little bit more than what you saw on here just because I just figured it just needed more. So this is the time where I added the oregano and I just spread it out all over and it gives it a really good flavor. And also this is a good time if you feel like it needs some more consomme or black pepper, you can go ahead and add some. Just make sure you go ahead and try it out. So after boiling it for about 20 minutes, as you guys can see, it is pretty much done and it just smells so good. And I love to eat mine with, of course, the tostada. I also add some lettuce to mine, some sour cream, and some cheese. all right guys so this is going to be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed this recipe and give it a try if you are excited to try it and for more recipes please don't forget to like this video subscribe if you are new don't forget to click the bell to get notified when i upload a new video and i really hope you return for more videos 